It's another middleweight fight at the apex. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC on ESPN 47 between Marvin Vittori and Jared Cannonier. Vittori and Cannonier are both former title challengers and they're both coming off of wins, albeit competitive decision wins. And if they mean to get themselves back into that title picture conversation, they're gonna have to build off those wins and that starts this Saturday. At the time of this video, the odds makers and public are still slightly siding with Vittori in the neighborhood of minus 120 with the comeback, if you want to call it that, on Cannoneer at minus 106. We're practically looking at pick'em odds. The odd setters, of course, open this a bit wider with Vittori as a 2-to-1 favorite, but that's a decent plus money offering on Cannoneer. He's a good fighter. MMA's a volatile sport. I do not blame MMA gamblers one bit for gobbling that up, but now I believe it's more at a true line, in my opinion, at more of a pick'em. I feel like despite being in the small cage where both fighters are undefeated, mind you, small cage tends to encourage action finishes, perhaps some mission grappling, but I think we get a striking match that goes the distance between these two. It's gonna come down to styles. You know, you, you can look at age difference, you can look at reach and height all we want. You guys know that's not my style. Numbers are tricky, they can lie to you, they don't tell the story, especially in something as volatile as MMA. You need context for numbers in general, and styles also play a big part of fights in the fight game, as it should. When I look at the styles, Cannoneer 3 and 2 against UFC level Southpaws, fighting against them much better. He actually won the last three in a row, you know, showing the improvements under the great John Crouch, underrated coach at the MMA lab, who has coached a lot of successful Southpaws. But whether you look at the Southpaw counters that iced Cannoneer early, or the jabs that gave him trouble, whether it was fighters like Strickland, regardless of how you score the fight, or Jan Blachowicz, a weight class up, fighters who jab and fighters who can counter have been the common culprit, the kryptonite, if you will, to Cannoneer and his losses. For that reason, I will too slightly side with Vittori, but Cannoneer feels very live. He's a very impactful striker to speak to the criteria. And as we've seen, you know, if in these closely contested striking matches, fighters who counter, maybe fighters who work the body, although they both work the body, I'm speaking more toward the counters, um, that kind of can be overlooked, counters and volume, whereas Cannoneer, who can also counter and work the body, well, he throws with that big impact, regardless of whether it lands clean, it's great optics that we know the judges respond to, they are only human. So it's a live fight either way, to see where my main card picks go, as well as the results go, keep it locked to MMAJunkie.com this Saturday.